This is the Prometheus UI. Um, it lets you register profiles. Uh, profiles are key vaults, which are, are like each of the profile has a unique key, which is generated at its creation. Uh, how this works, I will just uh, go through the whole flow of how the Prometheus is expected to work. So this is a register profile option. Uh, you create a profile here so you can choose what kind of profile you would want. Let's say that you are a detective on the side uh, and your name is Bjomkesh, let's say. Uh, the type of profile, so profile, uh, so the key words here could be of four types. You could have a profile, you could have a device, a group, a wallet. This is a profile for a detective and uh, it would generate a key for you and then you save the profile. Uh, so here when we are trying to lay out the UX, we are working with a few use cases. Our first use case is that of a student which also who also has other responsibilities in general. Uh, let's maximize the screen. So let's look at uh, our user whose name is Samyo. Uh, so Samyo is a student of Nayarit University and this is his performance according to his class. He has a few claims that he is a graduate who graduated in 2018 and he has a 4.0 GPA. Uh, he uses these applications and this is a computer science major with a crypto cryptography minor. Uh, other things that Samuel does is a tutor. He's a tutor on the side, these are the devices he's registered, these are the applications, these are interactions. Uh, another profile for Samuel could be that he has like his hobby profile, which would be swimming, and maybe he's also good at it, so he could be like a district wide swim, ch swim champ. Other things that he could do is the gamer profile, so he could be a level 15 gamer that he does on his pastime. Uh, the profile that we created was the Bjomkesh, the, the detective profile, and this is the pro uh, this is the type of profile, and like the description is like occupation. Uh, so this is like the way that you could create multiple profiles and use them. Uh, let's have a look at what are the other features on the page. Uh, so every time you have, so this is like an identity management system. So when you have a system like this, you'd uh, have an active profile that would be by default selected that you could use on things. So here, according to the tasks that you're performing, you could switch between what profile you would want to use. Uh, currently, the active profile is uh, the student profile. Uh, if I wanted, I could s switch it to the swimmer profile. And then the, like this profile will be used for all of the actions that you take. Uh, let's look at other features. So this is the my profiles. Like uh, if you consider this test case of a student, then this is what your profile layout would be. Like this layout represents all of the other profiles that you have. Uh, other layouts are this layout, which is meant to serve as an address book. So as I said earlier, like that uh, the key words are we broadly categorizing and templating them into four portions, uh, them being devices, profiles, groups, and wallets. So devices, claim that they are verifiably connected to each of the profiles like for example Samuel could have like the iPad and like a developer profile could use like the laptop and like you could have uh, different types of smart uh, different type of smart tools that you would use in your house that you can control with one or the other profile uh, profiles are essentially like real life use cases of what you would want to do so for example you have samuel here you have an influencer profile you have a magician profile you have a tutor profile uh, groups are comprised of a bunch of profiles with one profile taking the lead somehow which is voted upon so groups can range from something as small as a gardening club to like a university which has a nominal head that is doing verification documents and identity then you have your wallets, which are also profiles. So uh, these wallets are profiles with like a big 54 or another pattern used on them, essentially also being a key store. So like this is something that could serve as your address book later on. Uh, let's look at our other test case, which was uh, an influencer test case. Uh, so let's have a look here. So this is like the influencer test case when a person is an influencer and also like maybe has a business on the side uh, the way it works is that it shows relevant details of what uh, like the influencer 
would look at like let's just say like views on live stream is an application and you would have like a view of that here so this shows uh, on Instagram YouTube and like let's say Periscope what are the number of views she's getting like in real time uh, these are the devices registered this is the applications she's using and then if the person also had another occupation they could have like another uh, profile here um, let's come back to our prime uh, use case which was the student use case uh, if you notice we have this uh, claims portion here so what uh, what this claims portion does is basically this like uh, for example you uh, so we'd have some sort of verification on the claims here so you could claim that you were like let's say on a dating profile you could claim you were six feet tall and there would be some sort of three-party verification of the fact so this is what this does essentially so if you drill down from here you go to the claims page with all the educational claims checked out here uh, if you also look at the claims page without any filters you would see the different claims made by everybody um, this is the general overview of what we have so far on the like on with the brainstorming for prometheus uh the next plan is to make sort of like a guided demo which would explain the concept of profile claims the address book in more detail and uh, gamify it a bit so that users can access it like uh, users can get a feel of what the cli would give them like the kind of functionality it brings um yeah thank you Hi, this is Bartmas, and I'm going to give a short presentation about the identity management backend I'm working on currently. So this is a command line tool, so you can have a short list of commands uh, available. Before you could do anything with this tool, you have to initialize it. Uh, this is built on a wallet software, which is very similar to the Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency wallets. But uh, instead of having transactions uh, associated with these addresses, uh, you can have an arbitrary set of uh, attributes and uh, public data, also uh, private data in the future which could build uh, an open social graph uh, being for. So to initialize this tool, uh, you have to type those uh, words, the, these randomly generated words to give entropy and generate your uh, private keys, uh, which I will not do. Uh, I will do this uh, demo flag uh, to, to uh, use a hardwired set of words and initialize the demo accordingly. Uh, I start with a completely new and empty list of uh, profiles, so I have nothing set up yet. I will create few instances. So I have four profiles right now uh, with the uh, public addresses. The latest created one is the default, which will be used all the time unless I specify explicitly that I want to use another profile. Uh, I will use another profile as a default one. Just to show that it can be changed anytime. And this profile is completely empty now. So it doesn't have any attributes or links to other profiles, and it starts with version one. In the future, it probably really will uh, be migrated to verifiable claims and credentials instead of attributes and uh, simple links, but this is work in progress. Uh, for the moment we will keep with this uh, data schema. 
So, first I will set some attributes like root name. Ah, sorry. A nickname and let's say an age. Which are then visible within my profile. And so far, this is existing only on my local machine and not available publicly until I publish this profile. Now I have a remote and a local version also, which are both the same. Uh, let's say that I will add another profile, uh, another attribute, like uh, combining this profile with my social media accounts as an influencer, maybe. So. set up this one uh, but assume that I'm using this uh, tool from another device also uh, I will set it uh, set up another instance uh, as, as a different device uh, here it's completely uninitialized it's uh, using a different data directory so it's a separate uh, instance of the same command line tool. Now I restore the vault completely and uh, you can see that uh, from the published uh, data set the active and published profile is completely restored so i have a list of three profiles this was the last uh, published version and i will set it as active to show you that show you that uh, this is the last published version to demonstrate that uh, it can be safely used from different devices uh, I will publish the newly added attribute to the remote storage and uh, I will delete uh, an attribute from here so I currently have only one attribute in this uh, instance which I can always revert to the last known remote version so if I pick revert profile, then it change, local changes are just revoked and I have the same thing again, but let's assume that I have cleared it already and I want to publish this profile. I will have a conflict and I have to resolve it somehow. So let's assume I want to accept the remote changes. But still, it's not possible because I have a, a quite a complex conflict right now. Remotely, I have three 
attributes. The base version is different and I have uh, modified this base version in my local version, so uh, I have to force restoring to the old version. And now this is fixed, so with manual intervention I can resolve conflicts all the time. Uh, I would also like to demonstrate social capabilities like uh, creating links between profiles. Normally you have different people with different wallets. I'm demonstrating only with this single instance, so I'm creating uh, links between these profiles which are all mine. So first I have to publish also this profile to the remote storage and this allows me to create a link to this profile from my default. Profile and as an influencer, I'm also able to see who's following me. Still no one, but if I publish my changes, then suddenly it's visible. And this is how you can uh, follow your uh, social footprint and influence uh, ab abilities. This whole thing is uh, currently merged into the Morpheus, uh, in, into the Mercury code base. So uh, you should be quite soon be able to uh, pick it up from GitHub. And this would allow the whole IOP infrastructure to be very close to what we initially imagined and uh, presented back then in Berlin.